got to get my fans up on me. They dig them up. They don't even have to sell them. Think about Trey. I'm finna go dig them up. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Charles. Okay, coming back to you guys with another video. Now, as you guys can see, we are back on Call of Duty. And in today's video, I'm about to give you guys a complete AFK glitch on Warzone. It's going to transfer over to whatever game you want it to. Cold War, Vanguard, whatever you want. This literally, you can complete your whole battle pass in a couple days or a couple hours, depending on how much you do this. Now, before I even do get started, make sure you guys do drop a like on this video. And make sure you do go into the pinned comment down below and join my Discord. But with all that being said, let's go ahead and get started. So in order to do this, you guys want to make sure that you do have Warzone downloaded. You will be needing it in order to do that. So please do keep that in mind. Also, what you want to do is go into your controller settings and make sure that you have all of the settings that I have right here enabled. Make sure you don't have automatic sprint or nothing on like that or auto move forward or auto parachute deploy. Just pause the video and copy my settings. But once you guys have done that, all you want to do is go into your weapons as well and create a class that you want uh, weapon tiers on or weapon levels on. And once you guys have created that class, what you guys are going to do is make sure that you hover over it hit triangle and set it as your favorite so you will spawn in with that class now at this point what you want to do is uh go back to the main screen where it says play in your l3 and activate whatever double xp tokens that you guys would like so for me i'm gonna activate a, a double xp token i'm gonna activate a double weapons token as well and once you guys have activated that all you want to do is go into golden plunder make sure your squad is on field as well make sure it's not on no field and what you want to do is go ahead and search for a game and i'll be right back once the game loads up to tell you guys what you're going to be doing all right now basically what you want to do is get to this screen right here while i'm at and as you guys can see you can either pause the game or leave it unpaused like me but what you're going to do is disconnect your controller now if you have a wired controller all you will do is just take it out of the system but for me i have a ps5 so what i just did was just uh disconnected my controller and as you guys can see the message right here will then pop up saying please reconnect your controller and all you want to do is just leave your controller disconnected like you guys see mine is right now and basically what's going to happen is it's going to take you off the map and you guys will just land in the water you should not die at all if you have done it correctly and your player will just be standing there as you guys are about to see so the plan is almost done it's still telling me to reconnect my controller and that is how you know that you have done it correctly now uh I have not jumped out my controller is still off so please do keep that in mind i'm not touching anything everything is going to be done automatically now as you guys can see i have reached the point of the barrier where uh if you're afk they would just kick you on out and now i'm going to be going into the water you guys can kind of see it i don't know if you can see it on the recording but on my monitor you can see it now if you guys have on the auto parachute you should just land into the water like my player is doing right now and basically you guys will be standing here and you will have the gun that you selected at the beginning of the game now it does not matter if you do die or go down that's completely fine as well but it really does not matter even if you do die all you want to do is just leave your controller disconnected and basically you guys are going to see that this does work i'm gonna leave it for a match and i'm gonna be right back to show you guys the results from this match and as you guys can see once the game does end it will basically bring you to this screen right here and it will still be telling you please reconnect your controller now at this point you can leave your controller um disconnected all it is doing is finding you another match but for me i just wanted to show you guys the progress that i did get from the glitch so i plugged my controller back in just to show you guys how much i got from just one game and as you guys can see i ranked up to level three just off one game got a contract bonus and i think i went to uh tier three yeah i went to almost a tier three halfway and uh yeah as you guys can see you get a pretty good amount for doing this like i said you do not have to reconnect your controller after every match i just did it right there to show you guys what i did get if you leave your controller disconnected you will continuously begin put into matches over and over and over and you can do this for any game mode that you guys would like any game mode that gives you double xp uh basically when the events come you can do this for that as well so please do keep that in mind and uh yeah basically that's all that there is to it so i will catch you guys in the next video don't forget to drop a like on this video don't forget to join my discord it's me your boy charles okay i will catch you guys in the next one i'm out peace